Thank you, Tanya. It's wonderful to see so many public service leaders here from such a wide range of departments and agencies. In 2017, Ireland undertook to mainstream creativity into public policy right across government. My department continues to lead this mission through the All of Government Creative Ireland programme. I'm pleased, therefore, that creativity is firmly embedded in this year's Public Service Innovation Week with events such as creative problem solving, creativity in climate action and sustainability, and creative uses for artificial intelligence. Delivering services to citizens is at the heart of government business. Today's event represents an important opportunity to reflect on how we design those services for delivery. To draw from the co-founder of Apple, Steve Jobs, design is not just about what it looks like and feels like, it's about how it works. Design is a fundamentally important creative process. Today marks the start of a new way of thinking about how we deliver services through the public sector. We will hear about better customer experience, better services for the public and enhanced ways of working for the people delivering those services, goals that are not mutually exclusive. Better design provides a means by which we can offer improved public services, placing people at the centre of our approach. Prototyping ideas before they are launched or finalised. These are vital elements in the delivery of public services. The Civil Service Renewal 2030 strategy, building on our strengths, articulates our government's commitment to deliver evidence-informed policy and services. It ensures public views and engagement are factored into the design and implementation of public services. It is only by meeting needs and achieving outcomes that we can expect trust in government by the public and trust in our vital public services. It is time to embed and mainstream this approach. In short, government by design. Today you will hear about better ways of working and really taking into account the needs of people who use or deliver services from the start. Already across Ireland, there are examples of how a design-led approach has generated impact. Internationally, governments have demonstrated that huge gains can be made in efficiency and efficacy of public services. Today, we will hear from acclaimed international speakers and from people within government departments, state agencies and local authorities at the forefront of delivering design-led services. We should take confidence in the work of these forerunners. This design approach is not untested. It is proven to be effective. The strides forward in digitizing our services that we collectively took to navigate through the pandemic should give us great confidence in our abilities. We are continuing to make positive strides forward in developing digital products to make the daily interactions with public services easier, not only for the users of those services, but for those working within public services to administer. This conference is part of a wider effort. My officials in the Creative Ireland programme are currently preparing a roadmap for the digital creative industries as part of the programme for government. The design-based industries will be a key focus of this roadmap. Design, including graphic, product and service design, are a key element of Ireland's creative industries. They are more relevant than ever to public services as we live through a fast-paced, ever-changing and increasingly digitised world. The design sector in Ireland is in significant growth. Multinational enterprises that have chosen Ireland to locate in are establishing significant design teams to grow and to improve and cost save. These multinationals value a design-led approach. This approach is not only the preserve of the private sector. The public sector can use design to become more innovative and people-centric, to improve the experiences of those who use our services, and to deliver the outcomes and impact which we aspire from our society. We have in our national design sector talented people who are able to bring out the best in our services. 
the public service have an opportunity to utilise these specific skill sets to the best advantage. It is why, as Minister, I am keen to support this event, organised in partnership with Minister Michael McGrath and Minister Oshin Smith, whom you will hear from later. I also wish to acknowledge the important support from the Institute of Designers in Ireland and the Service Design Network Ireland. Today, colleagues, I believe we have reached an important milestone. I am delighted to jointly announce the prototype of principles for designing public services. These principles are part of a suite of initiatives aimed at embedding citizen centricity and user-led design in public services. The Department of Public Expenditure and Reform will now begin a process of wider stakeholder engagement to produce an action plan for embedding design techniques across the public sector. I wish to thank the members of the working group for their efforts to put design and the people we we design our services for at the heart of our public service. You will hear from them later. In fact, you will hear from a variety of public bodies, including the Court Service and Garda Síochána, the HSE and Dublin and Cork City Councils. I am delighted such senior figures as Lou Down from the UK and Mary Nakano from New York have come to Dublin to share their experiences. Today is a starting point. Not everything will be easy. The problems we need to solve, as we well know, are complex. But design can create simplicity from complexity. It can help us navigate by using tried and tested approaches to ensure that the people of Ireland are at the heart of everything we do. It may mean that we need to be willing to abandon tools and techniques that no longer work and embrace new methodologies. Today, we announce a prototype of design principles for the public service, outlining how we might begin on this journey through design to unlock the potential of our public services. As the saying goes, the alternative to good design is always bad design. There is no such thing as no design. Gurv Magav.